Another hot day in the Balearic Islands in Puerto Portales. We're into day two of the Rolex TP52 World Championship. Another complicated day on the water. There'll be sea breeze conditions, but the race area is going to be a little bit more difficult. It will be so a little bit more lefty than the other days, still clicking a little bit right, so maybe a little bit more pressure. It's like rolling the dice. <laughs> Tina Plattner's team on the Phoenix 12 lead the World Championship. Can they sustain their performance under pressure? We had a good day. Cam made some really nice decisions on the race course. The boat, I think, was quite suited to the wind strength we had yesterday. So, yeah, we're quite happy with the start. And now it's obviously another four tough days to come. So let's see how it goes. Well, race three, it looked like a pretty typical Palma Bay day with uh, 13, 14 knots off the start line. A cluster on the left of the line, really, at the pin end. But once again, sled executed from near the committee boat. Team Vision Future were over the start line, unfortunately, just missed timing the final meters and had to restart. And Quantum Racing down towards the pin end, have to double tack just before the start and so end up starting down speed. Platoon are pretty solid off the line, but upwind, sled managed to get across to the left and lead round the top mark. Platoon in second. Azura third and Allegra fourth. At the leeward gate, well, it's pretty standard down the run, although Brunanasek managed to get through Allegra. And at the finish then, it's a second win in a row for Sled. Platoon are second and Brunanasek in third. Race four of the World Championship, 13 knots at the start, working the left-hand side early on. It's Azura best off the start line. Brunanasek are over the line and have to recross. And a solid start once again from Platoon. Windward Market is Platoon leading, Allegra in second, Phoenix 12 in third. And uh, Team Vision Future, the French team up in fourth and really challenging. But down the, the run, it gets a little bit funky towards the uh, leeward gate. 25 degree shift, Allegra read it well and get away. Team Vision Future, unfortunately, don't and lose their kite in the water and end up with a big sea anchor out of the back of the boat. The Allegra win, the head-to-head -head for the regatta lead is between Sled and Platoon and it goes the way of Sled who gets second and they lead on 13 points. Obviously having a lot of fun out there when you're at the front end of the fleet but also you know the crew is just doing a fantastic job of sticking together the whole time. Mr Okura is getting really locked into the boat, he loves this venue and these conditions and he's got his spirits high so it, it works well for the team. The standings at the Rolex TP52 World Championship after four races, Sled lead on 13 points, Platoon are one point behind on 14. And then there are four boats all on 20 points, Allegra, Quantum Racing, Azura and Phoenix 12, all tied in the same points. Well, second day of the Rolex TP52 World Championships done and dusted. That second race extremely complicated with that uh, big wind shift, but Sled leading after day two. Day three promises more difficult conditions, the frontal system coming through. Join us for all the action. Thank you.